Yes, AJ Raphael is joining us once again here on Couple by in LA. Going to be singing for us, perhaps, talking about his brand new EP, talking about a lot of things. We're, we're going to be catching up with him. But first, here's an invitation to all of you. Join us. Join yours truly as we travel all over Taiwan. This is the third time that um, LA18 has partnered with Taiwan Tourist Bureau. And this may be the last. So don't miss this opportunity to go uh, around Taiwan. Uh, not just because this is such a fabulous trip. It's also because it's very affordable. I think it's just 2100 or a little or under that. Um, uh, nonetheless, the number on the screen, call them. Because we are leaving on April 1st. You have to reserve your slots because slots are filling up very soon. So the, included in that package is your ticket from L.A. to Taiwan, all five days in Taiwan, six nights, um, all the accommodations, all the meals, all the tours. Plus, at the end of the trip, uh, a tour of Taiwan, you get a ticket from Taiwan to the Philippines, which is open dated for three months, so you can actually join your family, visit your relatives in the Philippines as well. So call the number right now. All right, happy birthday, Thank AJ. You. Do we have a birthday song? <laughs> Let's do this. Very cheesy. Are you no? going to sing or for I me? I think we're looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, we well. should have prepped that because they didn't think about it. I know. It's okay. You can sing for me later. <laughs> um, happy birthday. Thank you. How old are you? I'm 24. 24. Still I know, very. That's crazy. I remember you, you're practically growing up. With yeah, our with you guys, LA viewers. really. I, Do you remember how old you were when the first time you were? I don't know. That was a while ago. That right? was yeah. Uh, that, that was, was at least three years, yeah, four years ago. Yeah. Twenty. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm getting older. It feels like. You feel I'm almost 25. <laughs> oh my god. No, no you just turned 24. You still have an, yeah, no, more still, months before you turn 24. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't feel any different, anyways. Yeah. Do you have a memory of your favorite birthday, and when was that? Oh wow. There are, there are a lot of birthdays. Every year we usually go to Vegas, mm -hmm. almost since I turned 21. Right. This is the year that I am not going to Vegas, so hopefully this will be a memorable one. We're going to Florida this weekend. So. Yes. Yeah. And you have a show there too? Or yes, is it, I do yeah. have a show there. Talk um, to us about that show so that for people, if you have friends and loved ones yeah, in, in, in Florida. Florida. Yeah. Uh, it's on Saturday at uh, University of Central Florida, which is in Orlando. Um, but, we, you know, my band is coming, mm -hmm. uh, my girlfriend is coming, and we're going to just have a lot of fun. I'm in Harry Potter world, uh, Disney world. It's going to be great. You're very open about your girlfriend. You just <laughs> mentioned you're, all, you're always posting pictures on Instagram, I heard. Um, does that help you? How do fans react to that? Um, you know, when you have, like, the true loyal fans, I think they're just happy when you're happy, mm -hmm. you know? And, and I'm, I'm in a good place right now, you know, with my girlfriend, um, my friends. Um, I'm in a good place with my family and stuff, so... Um, I think if they see, you know, um, one of their, you know, favorite artists or whatever, yeah. happy. Oh, ah, you seem happy. Thing. Yeah. And a little bashful. Uh, a little right. bit. You know. <laughs> Talking about things like that. <laughs> is it for a songwriter? Is it easier to write songs when you're happy or when you're sad? Um, truthfully, it, it is definitely easier to write when you're sad. Okay. You know, actually, the the EP that is coming up is um, is full of song. All of these songs don't have um, an ending really to them, which mean I don't really get the girl at the end in oh. these songs. Okay. You know what I mean? So uh, this EP comes together in that way. Mm -hmm. um, even like my last album, there are a lot of like this last half, Red Roses, mm -hmm. is um, you know all kind of breakup songs. Even even the photo, right? I see yeah. that you're kind of. You're just sad with the roses. Right. right and plus blood. Was there blood? No, no, it's, it's paint. You know, paint, it's just right. Alice in Wonderland right, right, type thing. Right. And so what's new about this new EP? How is this different um, from Red Roses? Well, I'm, I'm recorded, I recorded again with Jesse Barrera, mm -hmm. but every song is full band. Mm -hmm. um, it's a new sound. Mm -hmm. um, I recorded one song with my friend uh, Michael Alvarado, which is the title track, um, Beautiful Escape. And to me, Beautiful Escape just means... You know, I had all these experiences and maybe experienced a lot of heartbreak. And it was beautiful while it lasted. And there's the artwork right yes, there for the yes. first time. Uh, I love anyway. it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Crystal from Bionic Tour. Crystal, Tours, she, yes. She Hi, designed Crystal. That. Yeah. And you mentioned Bionic Tour because you are fresh uh, coming. Just You just got back when? A week, two weeks ago from the Philippines? Yes, two weeks ago uh, yesterday. And if you're wondering what AJ did over there, let's watch this. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Tell me 
about that experience? Uh, it was just it was just good to be back. You know, I've I've been back a couple times, uh -huh. um, and this time I went without my family, which yeah. was a different experience. Yeah. And I got to be there with you know all of you guys, and you know it's just a, a fun experience. It was really it was really great. And musically, I got to do a lot even before the the Bayani tour. Yes, what did you do over there? You're you're such um. an in demand artist now. <laughs> My gosh, we random people fans would mob him. Like where was that? Green Hills or it even at the crazy. hotel? Singaporean fans. Yeah, it was it was crazy. You know, I was originally there for. Um, Paolo and Sam's wedding, Paolo Valenciano, uh -huh. and uh, got to see a lot of my singing idols growing mm -hmm. up, you know, like Regine Velasquez and Ogi, and that was crazy, but I got to do a lot of collaborations with some Filipino artists. Mm -hmm. Like? Uh, like Yang Constantino, yes. which the video just hit a million. Congratulations! Last week. Yeah. That's the first time it's happened in a while. Right, you know, right. Um, we sing about heartbreak. Yeah. as well. And KZ Tandingan, which is uh, the winner of X Factor out there. Right. So congratulations. Thank you And so also much. you got to perform at a concert. Yes. The Hot Air Balloon Festival. Hot Air Balloon Festival. Yeah. Um, OPM, which means, you know, original, original Filipino, Filipino music. music, right? Do we consider um, your song as original Filipino music? Um, well, technically, I'm, I'm Filipino. Yes. You know, full Filipino blood. Uh -huh. And it's original music. Right. So, yeah, I think that's why they had me at the concert, because they do consider me okay. even if it's in English yes are you learning to sing it <laughs> we'll talk about that later All right. we'll pause for a few reminders don't go away cool